Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video, we're going to go ahead and open up box number two of 2023 Topps Pro, Pro Debut. This is the hobby version with four autographs per box, 24 cards per pack, eight cards per pack. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I will be getting a box or two of the Jumbo shortly, which has a lot more Chrome cards. Although, one of the nice touches about this this year's hobby product is these have basically one chrome card every other pack. You can get numbered chrome cards in here. Um, my first box didn't have any. Uh, it did have four autos uh, and then I think three other parallels. None of my parallels were, were super, you know, like really good ones. The, the autos were okay. It was four batters. Uh, none of the top guys unfortunately but we did get a nice pc felix valerio red auto out of 10 and that's what you should get you should get um one numbered card one numbered auto and three base base autos per per box that's tends to be what they what they come out to be so let's go ahead let's see if we get anything crazy in this box all right, Christian Hernandez. Oh, we got a green foil right off the bat for the Fredericksburg Nationals. James Wood. Hey, green foil should be 99. Yep. 37 out of 99. Very, very nice. Get that sleeved up. Hopefully with, with this box, um, I will have the full base set. Um, finished. There's a Ryan Cermak, Cesar Prieto, Brian Ramos, and Owen Murphy. All right, so we're starting off with a parallel. Very cool. All right, Judge Fabian, Zach Neto, Sean McLean. Juan Guerrero for the Fresno Grizzlies, Trey Sweeney, Benny Montgomery, Ivan Melendez. There's a Cole Young and a Jacob Berry, Farm Fresh Futures. Jupiter Hammer, Hammerheads, Robert Hassel, each stack should have one auto, and then uh, Drew Gilbert, oh, Edgar Carroll, no, Ron Carroll, Jefferson Carroll is who I'm looking for. On Guerrero and a Tory Hunter, like 1966 version. Jet Williams. But each stack should have uh, one auto, and usually one parallel, and then one of the stacks will have two autos if it's kind of a normal Jorge Barosa. Really a sod poodles that is a Diamondbacks organization. Just trying to see. Uh, signed in 2017. There's Junior Camonero, Jacob Mizorowski, Rain Don Cohn. Okay, this should have our first auto. There it is. There's Cole Phillips, Brady House, Elijah Green, Ricky Tiedemann for for Florida Coast League. Tucker Toman. Yeah, he's got a decent. Decent looking auto. All right, it's only 
Not even 20 yet. Second round draft pick. Last year, I don't remember him in, in draft. He's probably in draft. I just didn't. Maybe didn't catch him. It's possible, too, that he, he didn't have an auto yet. Um, that is something that can easily happen. Zach Neto, Farm Fresh Futures. Trying to make sure that I don't. That's by Evan Carter. Faella, there's a Jimmy Rollins, and a Khalil Watson. All right, first stack over. Let's get into the middle stack. If I remember right, last, my last box, the middle stack did have two autos. There's Jace Young, Trey Lipscomb, Jacob Berry, Justin Boyd, and Drew Gilbert Chrome. Very nice. He had a really nice first full full year. The Astros, I do have a couple of his first autos, including a really nice orange, uh, gold. Gold, I think I got a purple and uh, might have a base. I can't remember. Lesteros, Yitty Cap. There's our next auto. Ran again. There's an Eric Brown, Brewers organization. And we got Yitty Cap. Is the Bowling Green Red Hots. Mason Hour. Ray's organization. Okay. All right, fifth rounder in 2021. All right, let's keep her going. Hope everybody's enjoying, has enjoyed the playoffs so far. The Brewers got ousted. There's a Tamar Johnson, Farm Fresh Futures. My Brewers got ousted very early, so I haven't watched a ton. There's a trio. There's Jason Dominguez. There's Sal Fralick. Prince Fielder. Snappers. Yeah. All sorts of Matt McLean now has his rookie card in, in update series. Another brewer on the back. I'll just pull that one right off right now. There we go. Ortega, Gabriel Hughes, Max Muncy. There's Curtis Mead. The Durham Bulls. Very cool. I think he's now. Should have a rookie card next year. Still looking for a couple more numbered cards. Caden Wallace. There's Brady House. Ellie De La Cruz. And Brooks Lee. All right, let's keep her going. So Reggie Crawford on the back. Henry Davis. There's a Sean Green. Okay, Dotty. He's saying Hell Acuna. All right. Well, 
last pack of the middle stack. And it does appear we will have an auto in this one. Just got to figure out where it is. It is another Blue Jay. Carlos Jorge, Marcelo Main Mayer, Daniel Montesino, Troy Melton, and the Dunedin Blue Jays, I think, is their AAA team. We got Cade Doughty. Base auto. Nice part is all. All batters again so far. And all base. Not nothing numbered yet. So hopefully this last stack has a little something numbered. I also didn't get any or no numbered cards in that middle stack. So hopefully we'll get something numbered here. Joe, Joe Lamp, Alex Ramirez, Gavin Cross, there's a Cole Young. Drew Jones and Drew Baker. Drake Baldwin, Mason Burnett. There's an Anthony Gutierrez. Insert Colson Montgomery, Matt Mervis. This is rookie card in update. All right, keep it going. Zach Veen, Gunter Figuero, Rain Don Cohn. Jackson Job. Four packs after this one. Here comes a green foil. Could be our autograph card. Felix Valerio. Robin Show. Dylan Lesko for the Padres. And yep. Yeah, another one for the sh for the Shuckers. That's Brewers Organization. Let's see here. Ooh, could that be? It is. Bang! Look at that. Jackson. Jackson Churio. Depending on who you ask, the number one or number two prospect in all of baseball. I consider him the number two behind Holiday. I will take that. That is fantastic. Great box. Numbered 70 out of 99. Oh, uh, well, sorry. Sorry, Mason Hour. We're going to move you over here. Got to get this Cheerio right in the middle there. So I've gotten two numbered autos, and they're both for my PC team, the Brewers in these two boxes so i'm beginning to wonder if i should just go buy a couple more boxes i picked this one up for 65 dollars. i think this stuff is a, is a great deal kamar rocker edgar caro chrome oh yeah it's 65 70 dollars i think they were 70 dollars on the tops website and they sold out Pretty quickly, they are a fantastic deal. Uh, Cueva, Marco Luciano, Lefty Grove, still kind of surprised. I don't, you know, only one parallel so far. I wonder if it means I have a photo variation or something that I kind of missed. I'm gonna have to go back and take a look. There's a Spencer. Spencer Jones. Problem is, is that they use two different uh, 
photo codes for the base so it's not as easy to kind of sort out. There's the Mason Hour. All right, here we go. Last pack. Let's hope that we have something else numbered. Otherwise, all that we got was the was the one numbered card. Okay, we got a looks like a gold mini diamond in here. That's that's hopefully nice. George Valera, Andrew Pintar, Shailen Polanco, Jacob Miller. Got another. We got a Cole Phillips. Chrome, and then the mini diamond. Oh, it's a chrome mini diamond, too. It's not just a, you know, it's not just, oh, yeah, the mini diamonds are all chrome. That's right. Uh, who is Lynchburg Hillcats? Okay, it's an outfielder. It is Joe Lamp. Very nice. That is a Cleveland. Draft pick, right? It's like a third rounder. Yep, yeah, third rounder from last year. So that's a nice, that is a nice card right there. Uh, very solid. No, that's right. Uh, mini diamonds, they can come in paper form too, if I remember right. Anyway, that's a nice card. It is numbered 44 out of 50. But there you have it, folks. That's uh, this box. Um, obviously I'm going to be happy about it. We did get the three base of Mason Hour, Tucker Toman, and Cade Dowdy. That's the green James Woods out of 99. The gold chrome mini diamond for Joe Lamp numbered out of 50. But obviously the big card out of this box is the green foil Jackson Cheerio autograph that is numbered 70 out of 99. So what do you think about the pro debut product? Again, I think it's a fantastic, fantastic buy for what you get. Um, even if you kind of don't get the best autos and you kind of get a typical box, which is more like last, you know, the last box, I, the first box I opened, um, it's still a fun rip, and it doesn't. It's not something that's going to break the bank. So, um, feel free to leave a comment below. Are you chasing anybody in in pro debut? Hit that like and subscribe button right down there. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you later.